Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites here at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today is February 21st, and we are in chapter 41 of the book of Job, where Job continues to receive a rebuke by God. Can you catch a crocodile with a hook and line? Can you tie him with a rope? Will he agree to let you make him your slave or give him your little girls to play with? Will his hide be hurt by darts? No, it's useless to try to capture him. No one dares to stir him up. And if no one can stand before him, who can stand before me? I should mention tremendous strength in his limbs and his enormous frame. His teeth are terrible. The tremendous strength in his neck strikes terror. When he stands up, the strongest are afraid. Of all the beasts, he is the proudest. So again, we know that Job is, is continuing to receive a tongue lashing um, by God. But what we want to look at here, um, because we can only go so far with that, it's a continuation. But what we want to look at here is just another idea that may jump out at you like it jumped out at me. When I'm thinking about this crocodile and how strong he is and how he is the proudest of all the beasts, as it says here, he talks about the, the word of God talks about the tremendous strength in his limbs and that no one dares to stir him. And so if no one dares to stir a crocodile or something that God made, do they dare to stir him? So in my mind, I just went to Psalm 27 is what I thought about when I was reading this where he says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And he talks about even when wicked men rise up against me, um, God is on our side is basically what, his, what, what the writer is saying there. And so that's what this reminded me of. When people come against us, when people try to bully, when people try to come in and do us emotional harm, physical harm, um, spiritual harm, they won't come against certain creatures. They definitely won't come against God. So when we have situations like that, we hear a lot about bullying in today's um, day and age. We didn't hear that so much um, when we were growing up, but I hear about, uh, about it a lot right now. When we have those situations or we know of people who have those kinds of situations where people are rising up against another, then we need to put God on the on the job, amen? And that's not directing God to do anything. It's releasing his hands, releasing his authority in a situation so that he can handle it. We never have to walk around being afraid because if man is not going to stand up to a creature that God made, there's no way he's gonna stand up to God. So don't fear man. Don't fear anything that may be coming against you, anything that is coming to threaten your happiness, anything that is coming to threaten your joy. You release God's hands to let his will be done and let him allow his warring angels fight on your behalf and let him loose the Holy Spirit on whoever or whatever is coming against you. Now remember, the word says we battle not against flesh and blood, but against the powers of darkness and the, and the principalities. That's what God conquers. Amen. He takes care of that on our behalf. So there's no need for us to be afraid. Someone needs to hear this today. And I know they do because I feel it in my spirit. Don't be threatened by man or any of his tactics, any of his antics. Loose God's hands to act on your behalf and he will do it. Just as sure as Christ went to the cross, he will work on your behalf. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites. Join us back tomorrow where we jump into chapter 42 and we can hear Job's reply. Thanks again. Love you in Jesus' name. And we hope to see you over on the other side on our website for any Bible studies, church services, or small groups we may have. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <music>